So we are reading verse 38. Oh, beautiful lake, Radha Kund, my mistress always plays erotic games in you with her beloved Krishna. If you are dearer to them than the dearest, then please show me my mistress, who is my very life. Hey, Radhe Jainanda Maharaj. Radhe Jainanda Maharaj. Radhe Radhe. I can. Now I'm staying in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Japan and I'm in Germany. <laughs> Few days we were together, no? Yes. Yeah. Oh, beautiful lake, Radha Kunda. My mistress always plays erotic games in you with her beloved Krishna. If you are dearer to them than the dearest, then please show me my mistress who is my very life. Notes. Sri Raghunath's mind is absorbed in the glories of Sri Radhakund. I just wanted to say something to this line because this is actually very deep. Because absorption means that you are totally, totally connected and, and totally in association through the process of smara. And the, what comes before absorption means actually a samadhi. And samadhi we only can reach in the state of one-pointedness. And this is called druva anusmriti. So when we are totally fixed, totally one-pointed in this meditation of unconditional love, then our mind becomes chitta which means it's a centered meditation. There is only one center. And that druva anusmriti, that leads to samadhi. And that is the complete absorption where we find our sweet Raghunath right now, our Raghunath Das Goswami, he's in that total absorption and yes, that means the highest goal of any meditation. That is absorption. Radhe Radhe. Yes, Sri Raghunath's mind is absorbed in the glories of Sri Radha Kund. In the previous verse, he humbly realized his own unworthiness and how rarely Sri Radha's personal service or audience is attained. And therefore, he prayed to her lotus feet that he may be fixed in living at Sri Radha Kund. In this verse, he becomes unsteady while realizing the Kunda's glories. <coughs> so he prays to Sri Radha Kunda that he may see Sri Radharani, who is his very life, his prana, Swarupini. And he, he becomes unsteady he prays to Sri Radha Kund 
that he may see Sri Radhika, who is his very life, this very day. This very day. Today, now he prays that he can have her darshan of she who is his very life. Jai Ho. Sri Radha Kunda makes no distinction between who is qualified and who is not and blesses everyone who performs some devotional service there with the treasure of love of God. Even if they do not perform any sadhan bhajan. Again, this is very deep. Sri Radha Kunda makes no distinction between who is qualified and who is not qualified and blesses everyone to perform, who performs some devotional service there with the treasure of love of God. Even if they do not perform any sadhan bhajan. <laughs> Beautiful, no? Huh? Because Radha Kunda is liquid. It's exactly. She, it's our she, Mati Radhika. There's no distinction between her and her kunda. So, you know, liquid means emotion. The water element is the element of the heart. And when we are heart touch, what happens? Then the tears are coming, right? So, right. Yeah. Uh, we can also, we may also feel they are the tears of ecstasy of our Swamini. They are also her tears of feelings for her maidservants. Just the other day we had this verse that there's no limit how much affection Swamini has for her maidservants. So this liquid love and affection we could say is, is Radhakund. Also, one, one point what I want to uh, mention here is when Gurudev always mentions mm -hmm. that only through Ishta Nishta we can come to our Svarup Nishta. So if we translate this into this line, for Raghunath, it's Ishtadev, it's Radhakund. And the Ishtadev, which, how you said, the liquid form of Radharani, of her emotions, all this, when that manifests, when he's in his Swarup, he's automatically in, in, uh, in, in an embrace with, with Radha, with our Swamini, immediately. So that is something very wonderful. And the experience in Radha Kunda is indescribable, actually, because of this. Because Raghunath, he was sitting there and he was, he was really crying and weeping for this moment that she manifests, that she comes to him personally. Radhe Radhe. Would you like to share something, Jayananda Maharaj? On this liquid titty, liquid love.
So, water is liquid form, means kind of flow, always flow, and always wave there. So, that feeling is like a wave. Rasa is wave. Like uh, Gurudev used to say, if we see the ocean without wave, without Rasa, it's not so much tasty. And uh, Radharani is like a universal mother. And she has uh, so much affection to the Manjari and all living entity. So she does not care who is qualified, who is not qualified. So whoever touch the liquid form of Srimati Radhika, <laughs> so he can get some taste, some rasa, a feeling, and uh, that moved to the lotus feet of, the bring us to the lotus feet of Sri Radhika. Actually, this is what is called sarasa. Because when you see the ocean and the waves, the waves are on the ocean. So first the Shyama Kund is there and Radha Kunda goes into, fills up Shyama Kunda. That means it's above. So the wave is always above the ocean. And like, like, uh, like you said also that uh, an ocean without waves is boring. So Shyamakunda without Radhakunda, you cannot be, it would be boring. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm crazy a little bit, but anyway. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe. So Sarasa means that what fills Shyamakund. Radhakund goes into Shyamakund. Sarasa. That is the feeling. That is the essence of rasa. It fills up. That's it. Radhe, radhe. And you can notice it when you are there. You can feel it immediately. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, who had personally experienced this, Praise in his Radha Kunda Ashtakam. Api jana iha kashtityasya seva prasadai pranaya sura latasya tasya goshtendra suno sabadi kila madisha dasya pushpa prashasyas Tarati Surabi Radha Kundameva Shayome. That beautiful Radha Kunda, by whose grace the desire vine of love for Mohan that bears the flowers of service to my queen Radhika instantly sprouts in the heart of anyone who performs devotional service there. Oh. This Radha is my only shelter. <coughs> this service may be bathing in the Kunda, touching the water, living in the Radha Kunda village, circumambulating the kunda, hearing and chanting about Sri Radhika's glories, or serving the resident sadhus there. This place is dearer to Sri Sri Radha Mohan than the dearest place, because there are beautiful, intimate kunjas all around where they can freely enjoy all their intimate pastimes. Oh. 
Srila Raghunathas Goswami writes in his Braja Vilasa Stava, the delightful forest of Vrindavan, beautiful Govardhan Hill, and the nectarian arena of the Rasa then. What to speak of other places are not equal to even a single particle of one of the <coughs> atoms of Sri Radha Kunda. I take shelter of that divine lake which is dearer to Mohan than his own life breath. This is not an exaggerated devotional glorification, or that this is not an exaggerated devotional glorification is proven by this statement from the Padma Purana. Just as Radha is dear to Lord Vishnu, so is her Kunda. Of all the gopis, she alone is Lord Vishnu's most <coughs> beloved one. Although it seems that Radha Kunda and Shyama Kunda are filled with ordinary water, they are actually filled with erotic spiritual <coughs> flavors. When we are reversing the syllables of the word rasa, which means the sweet, erotic flavor of Rata and Mohan's play, you get the word Sada, which means lake. Sada Kunda. This secret makes the devotees very happy. When we are reversing the syllables of the word rasa, which means the sweet erotic flavor of rata and moha's <coughs> play, you get the word sara, which means lake. Radha Kunda. This secret makes the devotees very happy. What is meant by deep meaning? Yes, Guruji, can you say? <laughs> this is a very deep meaning, and Guruji uh, ask you to explain. Oh, Radha, Radha. Thank you, Guruji. To give me this opportunity. So Sara, the word Sara also translated into English is essence. So essence means some some very special some very special quality. So when we see that this, this life force of the mind is smaran, and that is the essence, the essence of this smaran is to remember always the exchange, the exchange between Radha and Mohan, with our Swamani and Mohan. That is actually the quintessence. 
And when we always meditate on these pastimes, that manifests in our mind and it will be translated. Translated means it will become manifest in our heart through the process of citta vritti. Citta vritti is where I go into the essence. Nothing else is important anymore for me. There's only one essence, and this essence is unconditional love. So in Radhakunda, this manifests automatically. In the last day when I was in, in uh, uh, Radhakunda, we made a beautiful bhajan with the Kirtaniyas there. And we were sitting in front of Raghunathas for Swami Samadhi. And through this vibe, through these feelings of that bhajan, what manifested immediately in our hearts, that emotional feeling, that is for me the Sara. That was when Radha Kunda manifested in our hearts. And that means, the, for me, for me, I can only speak about me and about my experience. I cannot speak about others, but for me, that the highest, the highest absorption you can reach in your bhajan. And this is actually the name Sara. So when we have Sara, Radha Kunda is also Sara in the sense. That means that is the quintessence of all the places in the universe, in the material creation, I would say, because we have many universes, right? There's so many innumerable universes, but in all these material creations, the quintessence of all the places is this Sara, is this lake, is this Radhakunda. So we are so fortunate when we can be in contact with this with this Radhakunda. I cannot I cannot describe it in words. It's so difficult, but everybody can feel it when you have been there and when you sit there and when you meditate. Then the sara, the essence, this the, the life force of the mind comes totally exposing totally in full. Uh, in full quality in our in our consciousness and that is for me sara that is radhakunda and when we see how dear radhakunda is for mohan also in this sense we as in our, in our Swaru, we can see that exchange between the Mahabhav, which represents Radhakund in the highest form, and Sringaras, which presents Shyamakund. And in the middle, you see that when you look at that, at that, at that uh, picture we have in, in the basement with Gurudev, there's Radhakund and Shyamakund, you see it? There behind on the in the entrance. And when you see that in the midst, that which is which is flowing above, that in the middle, exactly. When you are sitting there, you can feel that exchange of ananda. You get that ananda, you get that bliss, and you don't want to go anymore. I feel this. When I'm sitting there, it is like sitting in between this wave and that ocean. That is like, uh, <laughs> that is for me like, that is for me like, <laughs> that is for me like Ananda. This is the, the highest place I think we can, <clears throat> we can, we can reach in this, in this body, in this uh, human life, or the highest goal in this human life is this, that we can feel that Ananda already, 
which is totally manifest in our Swaroop. And this is actually what brings us there, that, pro that process of Sara, that is called Bhajana Kriya. This is the activity in our body, the activity and the Bhajan. I mean, Bhajan can be the activity, but I mean, all what you do is only in that meditation of truth, Anusmriti means one-pointedness. The total one-pointedness to Radha's lotus feet. And this is sitting at Radha Kunda for me, Radha Radha. Radha Radha. <laughs> Okay, good day. I want to a little bit try to explain. Is okay? Yeah. So this rasa means juice, kind of uh, kind of flavor. And uh, especially most uh, most important thing, like say, like uh, if we, we have sugar cane, sugar canes, and uh, from sugar cane we can we can have we can you know squeeze then we can get uh, water sugar cane juice. This is rasa. So Sara means. Ragnata Baba also mentions salami in Sanskrit means many meaning, one meaning essence, and also water. So this Baba, Anantas Baba mentions this is Sara is lake. So, and what is essence of this Sara? All different rasa is there. Five kind of main rasa is there. Shanta, Dasya, Takya, Basarya, and Madhurya. And all rasa's essence, Sara, is in this Radha Kunda. In this Radha Kunda, practically speaking, no Dasya rasa, no Sakya rasa, no Basarya rasa. Only Madhurya and only uh, Saki Manjari could stop this real Sara. Sara means also Lhasa. That's I feel <laughs> this this Vasa. Rade Rade, Jaiho. Thank you, Chayana Maharaj. Jaiho. And Of 
How many things you can plus and how you can much you can go deep. <laughs> With this. Because this is the right of that shaka conjugal love. Right. So there is nothing to do. Little us, this little living in Radha Kunda automatically gives everything to you. Nothing to do in Vrindavan. Little come and forgetting everything, it does and give everything to you. Varnil Aparaj Namalai Tarakoya Premuda was without doing offenses to other Vaishnava. We do the, anything in Vrindavan is a name of our king. Is a parigrama. Darshan is a every place where you go, you shopping, you shopping, DT clothes, DT ornaments, everything for you is to do. What you do is everything for the goal of. One pointedness. Radha. Yes. All cooked for Radha Mala. There's nothing. You have to find it out. Is vegetarian or not? He's already cooked for Radha When I was child, I went to Sitana shop for eating. I was 10 years old or 11 years. So we are living in the cities. We have no idea of Juta. When you eat, you cannot touch anything. When I eat, I want to give money and this. He said, no, no. First you wash your hand and then give money to me. You cannot give me and I will not accept the money with your dirty hand. You see? And you cannot touch anything without any way, anything. You cannot do. You wash your hand, then you eat and take wash. From distance, they give. You what? Why? Why you do like this? Because other prince is not like this. He said, This is all for Radha Krishna offering. They bring from here and they direct offer. So everything is cooked for them. So, Vrindavan, Radha, very Jewish today, full of life. Barsani, Nandela, all the ch in Charachi goes, every place is a place, sit and meditate. And the goal is Radha. Prem, comes from us, from heart to us, and we live in that rather than today I feel very tired because my sleep. I'm sorry, share. Yeah. Read my. 
when relishing of reversing the syllables of the word rasa, which means the sweet, erotic flavor of Radha and Mohan's play, you get the word Sara, which means lake, Radha Kund. This secret makes the devotees very happy. Understanding Sara, lake, to mean rasa, spiritual flavor. The devotees bathe there and a fortunate soul then attains a love for Mohan equal to that of Radha's by Mohan's grace. When Mohan is eager to see Radha and all his endeavors fail, he takes shelter of Radhakund, on whose strength he then gets to meet her. <laughs> Sri Radha similarly takes shelter of Shamakund <coughs> to attain Mohan's association. Through their inconceivable potency, these two Kundas delight separated Radha and Shyam by arranging for their meetings. Therefore, Sri Kunda is dearer to the Sri Jugala than anything or anyone. Virahi, Sri Raghunath Das, falls on the bank of the Kunda and cries out, O oh, beautiful Radha Kunda, how glorious you are. If you can delight the separated couple by arranging for their meeting, then please also allow this fallen bridge, <coughs> this fallen soul who has fallen on your banks, weeping to see Ishwari's lotus feet now. And if the Kunda says, Tripad, be patient. You will see them in due course of time. Why do you want to see them right now? Then Raghunath answers, Mama Jivi Tam Tam. Oh, beautiful. Ishwari. Shiratika is my very life. Without her, I cannot stay alive for even a moment anymore. Shiharipat Sheila sings. <laughs> 
O Sri Radha Kund, O best of holy lakes, <coughs> on your banks, my mistress Radharani is intoxicated day and night <coughs> by her love sports with her beloved gallant. <coughs> A beautiful, fortunate girl can nicely bathe in the ocean of Rasa, Sri Radha Kund. The beloved lake of the divine couple. Okay. Be kind and show me the queen of my life and the queen of the Kund. Oh, beautiful lake, Radhakund, my mistress always plays erotic games in you with her beloved Moha. Mm. If you are dearer to them than the dearest, then please show me my mistress who is my very life. So when we when we speak about missing, right? There are different steps in that word and different meanings. So first, we may miss God at the beginning of our lives. It is like missing God, but when you are realize who is God, then you will miss what is very dear to him. <coughs> and this is always a step further. So it's like you find, let's say you find God, you assign with him, you assign with Krishna, but that is not, then you assign the goal, nothing else. When you go on, when you go on in your, in your and you, you develop your feelings more and more and more intense and the, the, inten the desire gets more intense and more intense then slowly you will come to the ultimate goal, which is Brain Prayochan. And that manifestation of Brain Prayochan in that liquid form, that is Radha Kund. That is the place where you are connected to your Swaru, here and now. And Raghunath says it here in that, in that moment, he says, let me die. He doesn't say it like this, but I translate it like this. Let me die. That means let me die for that world to live in your world. I don't want to live anymore in my city home. I don't want to live anymore in my sadak there. I want to be with you all the time. And that cannot be in the sadak there. That must be in the Swarup. So that ultimate goal, that Brim Brayojan, that is our constitutional position. And this is what we can realize really when we have the association with Radha Kun, because 
This Radakunda leads us there to this highest form of realization. And, and then I say something else. It's without endeavor. You don't have to endeavor anymore. It comes to die, to live. That is what is the meaning of this. What Radha, for me, what Raghunath Das Goswami says here, please, I want to see you now. I don't want to wait anymore. It's just over here. That hankering, that weeping, that's a weeping. That is not a, a, a normal saying. It's a weeping. I just hold on. I cannot be anymore here. I want to be with you. And that forever. That is for me, that yearning, which, which is expressed in that words of Raghunadas Goswami here. That constant, intense desire. And it's always increasing. It's increasing. It's dynamic. It's not stagnant. It's not, now I have it. No. Then it's over. When you say, now I have it, it's over. You have always to hanker for it. That intense desire that makes it dynamic. And dynamic, that is the way from the ocean. The way from the ocean is dynamic. It's not stagnant, it's dynamic, and that is unconditional love. Unconditional love is what is in my realization I got in that two years in Vrindavan, or more actually, more than two years, that is that point, that dynamic point, that wave, we have to catch this wave, this unconditional love wave. And that is... Um, Raghunath's word here expressing it very clearly that is die to live that is die to live that means you don't want to be anymore with anything in this world you just want to be with the lotus feet of Radha you will just want to grab her you just want to embrace her you want to decorate her. You want to weep for her. You want to not, nothing else. That's it. That's it. You don't need anymore to know nothing. You don't need to know anything. I know that I don't know anything. But then you can say, I feel that I feel everything. That is for me the realization of Raghunath. Because knowing brings us to a certain point and that's it. But the feeling goes over it. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Radhe your mercy and Radha Mohan's mercy and all your mercy who are there. That's your mercy. I... <laughs> I just listen also. I don't know what's going on here. I'm listening. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. You see the kunja behind me? Can you see it? We are looking. This is the Kunja Ram right now. Wow. Beautiful, huh? Wow. You, can, you can see the Mancharis also? <coughs> there's yeah. Manchuri and there's and there's Radha Mohan. Yeah. 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 And one more thing I want to say is please forgive all my offenses, my dear friends, I might have done in my, in this life to all of you, please forgive my offenses, otherwise uh, I cannot continue. Blah, blah, blah.
So I want to say two points to Gurudev. <laughs> And yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a, a one, two, three, four, five, six line, six line. This page three, three sixty. The devotees bathe there. Bathe there means bathe in Radha Kunda. Mm. And fortunate soul. Then attain a love for Krishna equal to that of Radha's by Krishna's grace. So the love for Krishna means Radha Ran is love for Mohan. So who knows Radha Ran is love? That is Radha's kinkari, Radha's manjari. So if, if someone who bathes in Radha Kunda and someone who is very fortunate, he can attain, he, he could know and taste, and that's manjari baba by Krishna's grace. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Beautiful. And also another one point is last sentence, Hari Hari Padashira sing. This thing is very sweet also. A beautiful fortunate girl can nicely bathe in the ocean of Lhasa. Shri Radha Kunda. <laughs> the beloved lake of the divine couple. <laughs> oh lake, oh Radha Kunda, be kind, show me the queen of my life and the queen of the Kunda. So that means Radha Kunda is so dear to Radha and Mohan. Mm -hmm. So, that dearest one could show us our Swamini. <laughs> dearest person, like our Guru Manjari, can show us our Swamini. So, this sentence, I should say, I could say, Radha Kunda is so dear to Radha and Mohan. If we could mercy of Radha Kunda by bathing, by touching the water, or by pariculum, whatever, then we, we are fortunate we can have a darshan of our Swamini and Radha. Kunda in reality. Dialogue. Radharani. Radhe. Mm. Ah. <laughs> 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 Oh, fair face, Vishaki, my queen will not leave your company for even a moment because you are the, of the same age. You are the realm 
of her joking pastimes. Please save my life from the affliction of separation and show me my mistress. Shri Raghunath's life heirs reach his throat. He is about to die out of separation from Shri Radha. Remembering Shri Radha Kunda's glories, he falls on the bank of the Kunda and laments. I want see Swamini now, at this very moment. My life cannot remain in this body anymore. His heart is floating on his tears. At this moment, he hears ankle bells jingling. Who is seemingly calling? Tulasi, why are you crying? He opens his eyes and sees Sri Vishaka Saki standing before him. Being her follower, he falls at her feet and says, Oh, fair faced Vishaki, you are equal to my mistress in form, in qualities, in nature and age. And you are the object of her confidence. My Swamini <coughs> does not leave your company for even a second. In the beginning of his Vishaka Ananda Stotram, Sri Raghunatha has written. May Sri Vishaka, Krishna Chandra's beloved, who has the same mood and name, because Vishaka is another name of the Radha star, and she also has qualities as Sri Radhika. May she be pleased with me. She has a deep, loving friendship with Sri Radharani, who is a little bit afraid of Sri Lalita. Sri Vishaka is Sri Radha's Narma Bhumi, the abode of her confidence, or literally, the abode of joking and humor. About this, it is written in Vishakananda Stotram. Sharkanarma Sakke Nasuki Tatatatatvika. She Radhika is gladdened by Vishaka's Narma friendship and has given her heart to her. Sri Radhika smiles when she sees that Mohan is defeated by Vishaka's intimate joking words. She is the best teacher in joking and she defeats even Saraswati Devi in eloquence. When Mohan speaks about his intimate pastimes before Vishaka, Sri Radha frowns her eyebrows and playfully beats him 
This her play load was. Uh, From this, we can understand that Vishaka is Sri Radha's Narma Bhumi. Swamini does not leave Vishaka's company for even a moment because Vishaka is her Habrina Prana, her inseparable, inseparable bosom friend, best friends. Non different life airs. It's also in a um, translation of Apina Prana. Wherever Radhika cannot go personally, she sends Vishaka. For instance, in the holy pastimes, Swamini takes Lalita in her own ranks and keeps Vishaka in Krishna's party, <coughs> knowing that she will take care of her affairs there. Srila Rupa Goswami has written in the Jvala Nilamani. Sri Radha told to Vishaka, Saki, you are my life heirs on the outside. Like my second form, <coughs> you are both very clever and very eloquent. Therefore, today you must, Mohan, attach to me in such a way that my prestige is not even slightly diminished. Srila Vishwanath Chakrabarti Thakur has made a truly incomparable, relishable commentary on this in his Ananda Chandrika Tika. Sri Radhika says, Saki Vishaki, you are the external manifestation of my life heirs, and therefore I have great faith in you. <clears throat> you are very clever and eloquent. So please go and see Mohan on the pretext of picking flowers. But you pretend not to see him. Just speak about me casually with your girlfriend, describing the supremacy of my form, my qualities, and my love in front of him. Hearing this, he will then ask you, Saki, whose wonderful sweetnesses are you glorifying? Then you will anxiously and carefully bite your tongue and say, No, no one's. <laughs> Krishna will say, Saki, why are you afraid? There's no harm in telling me. All right, then. Don't tell me, but I'm already acquainted with her anyway. Then you will have to say to him, Oh, Mohan, what's the use of being acquainted to her for you? He will say, Saki. I have a very confidential relationship with her. Then you must say, Get out of here, Mohan. There's too much difference between the two of you. There can't be any intimacy between you two. He will say, Saki, 
What difference is there between our natures? Then you will, must say, you are a debauchee, and she is devoted to her husband. You are a whimsical, and she is steady. You are impious, and she is devoted to the demigods. You are dirty, and she takes three baths a day, after which she puts on clean clothes. Krishna will then say, Vishake. As far as chastity is concerned, I am also a brahmachari. In the Gopala Tapani Upanishad, I am described as a brahmachari. And how can you call me whimsical? I held up Govardhan Hill for seven days with a steady hand. You were all able to see that. And how am I impious? On the order of my parents, I took initiation into Vishnu Mantra from Bhakuri Muni. Brahmanas like Purnamasi, Gargi and Nandi Mukhi all know this. And I am also not dirty. I am Suchi, pure self. I can prove it through your own experience. Then you must say, but Mohan, still you are a man and she's a married girl. She will never look at you. He will then say, even if she does not look at me, I will be blessed by looking at this virtuous girl, even from afar. Then you must say, Mohan, how will you accomplish that? He will say, there is one way. Today, I will personally install a deity of the sun god in a cave of Govardhan Hill, smear the temple with my own hands, with clay or underance, and wait for her from a distance. Then you must take her there to see and worship that deity. When she sits there for doing puja, I will be satisfied just by looking at her from the back. And if you are kind upon me, then I will be allowed just to touch her foot soles once. Then you must say, Mohan, what reward will you give me? And he will say, Saki, what more is there to give to you? I will sell my very soul to you. Then you must say, just wait, Mohan. I will fulfill all of your desires and then come back to me to bring me there. Thus, Srimati reveals her desires to Vishaka, Vishaka, who is her bosom friend and who is the abode of her humor. Shiragunath eagerly desires that Vishaka's mercy. 
Human. Human. Humor. After he described Sri Radharani's matchless sweetness, he called this prayer Vishakanandada, the hymn that will delight Vishaka. After hearing Sri Raghunath Das' wonderful glorification of Sri Radha, Sri Vishaka will cast a merciful glance on him and engage him in Srimati's service. This is the desire Sri Raghunath Das carries in his heart. Shibanga Bihari Vityalankara adds, Please, Vishaki, you are the abode of Swamini's humor. When you are making jokes with Swamini, you must tell her about my miserable condition, because then she is in a good mood. Please, Bring me to her then and show me to her. In Svalupavish, Sri Raghunath says, Oh Vishake, you are dear to my mistress. My heart is suffering from separation. Please revive me by showing me my Swamini just once. I cannot stay alive without seeing my Swamini for a moment anymore. And Sri Haripat, Sheila sings, Oh, fair-faced Vishaka, your girlfriend, Shiratika, is the abode of your heart's love. You don't leave each other's company for even a second because you always play joking, ecstatic pastimes together. I am dying at every moment because I cannot see the queen of Braja's love bowers. I am suffering very much from the spikes of separation. Oh, Goddess Vishaka, will you be so kind to show me Krishna's beloved Radhika? This is the end of the second verse. <coughs> yeah. I want that you read something Bhakti Siddhanta Sevotra in Kapoor book. You have that? Mm -hmm. BML Kapoor book? He has only the saints of Bengal. That is that yeah. book, yeah. 
of Bhimar Kapu. Yeah. See that. What is Danta? Not all big men. There is some story of Bhattisiddhanta talking on to his disciple about Rama. One king is living Dandavat. So he showed the differences in between his devotion and Gauriya Vaishnavati. I think this is in Sridhar Maharaj's book. Yes. Yeah. Nagunath, which was the title? This was this Shidamaraj book in, in German edition. Die Suche nach dem liebevollen Diener. Yeah. Die Suche nach dem liebevollen mm -hmm. Diener. Nach dem verlorenen Diener. Mm -hmm. äh, ja, die liebevolle Suche nach dem verlorenen Diener, genau. Maybe. Yes. What time is it Okay. I think it's in the bookshelf there. Outside? Copy that, you have it? Yeah, I'm looking one second. Oh. So nice book. If somebody has it in the in the German speaking Sangha, Sangha somebody has this book? So Hunt? <laughs> Goravani? <laughs> I, I do have it. Yeah. So, David, you have it? Yes, I have. I, but just at the moment, I have to uh, also. I have to search. It's at the end. It's at the end. Huh? Last chapter. Dear Sir David, it's at the end. I think 
think Gopinath, it's the last, the last text, I think, or the, you read it, you remember? Ah, a few hours ago. No. Last one is very deep. In middle, a lot is very deep to understand. Very deep meaning. Yes, or if the word is Can you read? Yes, can you read? Yes, can Thanks to Chuck Shaw. I have it also. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck I, I do have it. Huh? The service to Sri Radha. Okay, Which more. Okay. Yeah. What is it to go? Oh. Einmal kam der Divan von Bharatpur, but there is translation in German, no worries, that's already happening. Huh? There is translation in German. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Welche Seite? 157 hier. Hm? 157. Once the Divan from Bharatpur came with his family to the most Sacred of all places, Sri Radha Kund, the holy lake of Srimati Radharani. Together with his family, he circumambulated Radha Kund. They all paid obeisances by lying down on the earth, prostrating their arms and brought obeisances. Every time they did dandavats, they marked the place where their fingertips had touched the earth. After that, they raised themselves again and made a step to that mark and again fell down and did dandavat. In this way, they brought their obeisances with much awe and they circumambulated the entire Radha Kund. When Paramananda Prabhu, who was a very close disciple of our Guru Maharaj, Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, when Paramananda Prabhu saw such deep reverence. He said in confidence to Prabhupada that the Divan means the king. the king and his family must have very big respect for Radharani because they are circumambulating Radha Kund in this way. Prabhupada replied to this their way to see, perceive Radha Kund and Radharani is different than ours. They worship and only recognize Krishna. And because Radharani is the dearmost of Krishna, they also sense some certain level of reveration for Radha Kund. No. But our perception is the total opposite. We are only concerned about Radha Rani. Sri Rani. And because she wants Krishna, we have a relationship to him. Ah. No. That's it. Therefore, the God Vaishnavas only know Radha 
they only are focused exclusively on her. They're exclusively concerned with her duties, her desires. They are ready to serve her in every aspect and they cannot imagine any service without her. This is the highest achievement of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. This is the particularly landmark of Mahaprabhu school oh. described oh. and emphasized by Raghunathas Kuswami in his beloved This is the story of the future. Yeah. Wow. This is so beautiful. Oh, good. That is so beautiful. Wow. Such a good idea to, for the closing, no? This what what you were what you were mentioning now. Wow! And something came to me right now. That is when you do that penances, and then you look at Mahaprabhu. Then you see Krishna in Mahaprabhu. But when you are when you are sitting and weeping at Radha Kunda, then you see Radha in Mahaprabhu. Only Radha. And in the middle, Krishna, it's like a flame, like a yellow flame. And in the middle, there is a blue flame, a smaller flame. And when you see the yellow flame, wow, that is, that is this effulgence. This is Radha. And in the middle, the blue flame, that is, that is, that is Krishna. So all the people, all the people who do penances and all this, they only see the blue frame bigger and they see Krishna in, Ra, in, in Mahaprabhu. But the ones who are going there with humility and tolerance and respect everybody and, and do really this in the, with the bottom of their heart, like this they approach, then they see Radha in Mahaprabhu. <laughs> Radha. Radha. Yeah. 